carrying, but Tox, he is physically ready, and I sure hope he's mentally ready. Let's hope Alpha is ready as well. Owen 32 on the day yesterday. Can he get at least one goal today? He's going to start things off for France. And uh, just a reminder, me, myself and Stax, we had a little bit of a gentleman's wager yesterday. We reckon uh, about when uh, Alpha's actually going to score a goal. I said he's going to score on his 37th shot. Stax said he'll do it on his 34th. I feel like that's optimistic right now. This is a man who's taken, what, 32 shots and not... 32 yet. shots, zero goals. Wow. I mean, to be fair, the first shot's really going to Germany, but like we say, it's so difficult. They cannot afford to drop two games. Of course, the Netherlands will be absolute Germany supporters right now. In fact, there's almost no way that Germany win and the Netherlands miss out. Netherlands will always be top two, but there is a chance that, based on this series, they could go top. Yeah, if Germany win 3-1 or better, against France, then it will be Netherlands top of the group and they will face off against Norway in the first match in, in, well, their first match of the playoff bracket as Capitalism gets a demo onto Fairy Peak. Thought someone for Germany might have came through to batter that one in, but here comes Tox instead. k up saves from his own backboards and now back out to the middle and it seems like Germany putting a lot of pressure on here, but Alpha now able to batter that ball through. And again, just wins that 50 off of Rizix. Here comes Kadok towards the corner. Fairy Peak shadowing behind him. I thought he might have been a little bit closer to midfield to try and whip that pass in, but they recover from the mid lane. Fairy opting for the Octane again, but he's going to lose that race to the ball in the midfield. He's clearly comfortable in Octane. He was performing well yesterday in it, and he's got the ball here. He's trying to ferry it off the defense, but Tox, he dunks that one straight back down towards the net. And Kadok with a whiff touch, it's all a little bit uncomfortable, but so many times, right, we think France look uncomfortable on defense, and they still get the defense done, keep the clean sheets, and really, it's so impressive to see. Very impressive, and against this Germany side who I think a lot of people underestimated them, but as we discussed yesterday, a lot of uh, momentum coming off of other tournaments in the last few weeks, a few months. And of course, they're all in the same room together right now. They are currently boot camping, taking this one dead seriously. Now Fairy Peak, Lena off to Alpha. Gets the demo instead of the shot, and now Capitalism will be able to pick this one up and round, round the house as it will go. Resix is there to see if that ball was going to pop free, but instead Fairy Peak picks, picks it up now. Gets it over too. Only one man to beat. Who's there in recovery? Alpha is there. Kade up now lying in wait, waiting for this pass that, that never ended up coming. And every, and every time that France have moved forward here, Tylacto, they just end up losing the possession of the ball. They can't get a clean pass right into the middle of the field. Yeah, but there's also been no real clean chances for Germany just yet. And we've really almost had three minutes of this game won. Both teams, not just with the feelers out, but trying to make sure they get comfortable as well. But not comfortable, you see. Le Bleu, France, they were all a little bit in that corner right there. But they're going to get away with it, no problem. And Alpha, he's going to buy plenty of time with all this boost. And he's going to get the corner boost. Never mind, he's not going to get it. He's going to get it now? Yes. yes. I clearly, I just saw the future here. He flicks it upwards and Kadop is not going to have it, but isn't it can't really direct it towards the net. Give the flip reset and it was optimistic, but there's a quick counter oh. for Germany now. Ooh. Alpha, he has to make the save. So quick on rotation there is Alpha. He just took the, it managed to get a, a pop up to Fairy Peak, or was it Kadop? Uh, uh, one, one of the two, I think it was Kadop, and then rushes back to net to avoid the counter attack or neutralize it at the very least. Still tied at nil. Is going to break first. Will Tox get the angle in? Alpha is there, but he can't get a save on Catalyst. Bouncing around the penalty area, and with 90 seconds to go, Germany's in front. Yeah, they strike first. Tox couldn't quite get around the ball enough, but the post bounce is perfect for Catalyst. There, Alpha, he gets unfortunate. He couldn't really adapt and react to that in time. Germany, a much needed lead here, and it was all on the back of that man, Tox, initially. The man with the weightlifting, the man with the prowess. You could say the absolute chad. <laughs> Absolute Chad. Germany completely chatting France right now. 1-0. Still fairly even, I would say. A couple of chances here and there for France. Remember, France only need to win two games. And they will secure themselves a place in the playoff bracket. Germany cannot afford to lose this series or even give up those two games to France. Otherwise, they will be the ones going home. Catalyst now, try to get a second, but, but right bout downfield by Kadop. Tox is there to pick up the pieces. But now France try to put a little bit of pressure on, try to attack this high lane, but now Tox just slowing things down, dribbling it down that left-hand side. Uh, concede possession for the moment. 
Here comes Rezix to keep it threatening, but a backflip by Catalyst will let Alpha in here. Not a lot of boost, might hand, have to hand it off to Kadoff before Tox could get a touch to it. And Barry Peak rotating back in the neck of time. And Catalyst here, he's hungry looking for a bump and it's Ooh. dangerous again, but numbers were back on the side of France, but they don't need numbers back right now. They're running out of time. It's a great 50 in towards the midfield, but you see Rizek rotating back close there. It doesn't always work out, but he interferes very well. The shot from Barry Peak. 10 seconds left and France get the equalizer. So crucial for France there. Lovely touch there by Kadoff. Tox has been a pain in the backside, winning almost every 50-50 challenge I've seen him go for, but he loses that one and Barry Peak will say thank you very much. 10 seconds to go and it is tied overtime is looming well we have late drama here at the end of only game number one alpha able to pick this one up towards now will go can he get the double touch no risks is there to cut it out fairy peak will keep it dangerous still up in the air zero seconds as soon as this one drops we have ot and we have ot and france they do love an overtime germany gonna be wondering what could have been we've seen so many goals in this tournament late on in regulation and fairy peak did not disappoint here he's really been quite the striker for this french side unlike alpha who <laughs> well he's been a striker just not a goal scorer Oh, okay. I'll, I'll allow that. But maybe Ferry is going to be allowed to take the second shot. He does give it up for Kadot, but it doesn't quite work out. And the 50 kind of goes Germany's way in the midfield. But he does disrupt very well, does Alpha. Buys plenty of time here. And this game one, even this game one is huge, right? Because we talk about France just needing the two games to be safely into top two. But they need a win to get the top spot. Absolutely. One other interesting thing that we had pointed out to us as well. Thank you to Finn from Octane GG for pointing this out to us. Uh, I know we make a lot about Alpha not being able to score. This is actually his oh. lowest goal participation percentage in any tournament Alpha has ever played in. 37.5% throughout the course of day one. His, other, his next lowest is 45%. I mean, that's just terrifying, though. The fact that France are still looking to top the group despite that, I think, just speaks volumes to their raw quality as a team. As you see them rotate back as a unit there, all into the corner. Just wanted a quick team high five there as they clear it down and out. I said today up as it's sent over to Kadoff. Can he win the race to that? No, Catalyst. He shuts that one down here over a minute into overtime. Fairy Peak. Surely he Ooh. won't be allowed to end it. That would have been an outrageous goal, but a great save on the side of Germany here. But they're under the cosh. They're under the breath pressure around Alpha, he doesn't quite get the touch he was looking for. Not at all, but it is France with all the possession, all the pressure. Alpha now has two shots, so he is on 34, so I can confirm Stax is wrong. <laughs> they just need him to shoot twice more and then score. And now I'll, I'll be the one who's right. I think it might There's be. nothing on the line between me and Stax, it's just pride. It might be like 40, honestly, that'd be crazy. <laughs> It'd be mad. Are you going to go with 40 point. then? It doesn't even look like he's playing bad at all. You see him up for this one, he's looking for the double touch. He's not going to be allowed it, though. Catalyst clear that away. one very, very far. That one could have gone to space how far he's cleared. That one, Fairy had to pick it up in the back corner here, and he's done just that. But you see that pre-jump from Rizex. This Germany side is confident. Very confident, but they need to turn that into aggression downfield. A missed touch there by uh, Alpha, but Ferry was there to pick up the pieces. Now Rezex, here comes Tox and Kadop just screams from the back of the uh, from the back post and he's got the dunk over Tox. Can Alpha chase this one down? He's got half a tank of boost, oh. misreads it off the back wall, but Ferry is there to take the shot instead. And Tox able to play it into safety. Now we'll have a chance at a counter-attack. Two men in net. Can't get it past the first man of Kadop. And Rezex will go again from this left hand side, but this is much better from Germany. It's just crazy from both sides, though, the efficiency in which they move around the field, such that not only one of them gets back, but they get back in numbers too. Often three back by the time the ball has been counter-attacked, and it becomes so difficult for the one breakout shot that you might get to actually get past all them defenders and goalkeepers. You feel like you have to wait on some magnificent play, patient pressure, or hopefully not, but a tragic mistake can easily do it too. It does feel like uh, when it, whenever these overtimes go three or four minutes, it will end up coming down to one big mistake from either side. The Alpha, good dunk over Tox. Can he get whip oh. around and see if he can get Kadop? He goes for the shot instead. He's now on 30, uh, 35 shots. Creeping ever closer to my 37. <laughs> um, but, uh, who's, that was who's, a great who's shot. Who's counting? Yeah, who's that counting? was a very threatening shot to hit the crossbar from there. The defense of Germany would have not been very comfortable watching that one fizz on by their net. Mm. He is very uncomfortable for both teams. I'm uncomfortable just watching here. The longer the overtime goes on, the harder it is to bounce back from. The more invested you get into it here with your nation's pride on the line and a spot in the elimination stage later today. And the big prize pool here, $80,000 up for grabs. 
this sort of pressure really does start to weigh down. Alpha, he can't get the ball around that corner. He's not increased his shot count, though, so you don't have to worry about that. I, well, um, yeah, I don't have to worry about that. That's okay. One thing that France do need to worry about is this German net side now coming down the field. And it just seems so back and forth. Both teams having a goal at each other's net and each other uh, each end of the pitch. And no one team real t t uh, taking control really for more than 30 seconds. It seems France are in control for about 30 seconds. Then it flips back to Germany and we're back and forth like that throughout this overtime. Now four and a half minutes gone. Still nothing to separate them. Catalyst towards the backboard. Alpha able to tip that one up and Tox will keep this one dangerous into the corner. Fairy Peak able to take it away but it only finds Rizix up towards the backboard and Alpha again just every clear that's coming out for France right now is met so closely by a Germany player. And I'm very, very happy, Kraftman, that France have good health care because all the supporters of this French side, the amount of overtimes they go to, and lengthy overtimes as well, right? Yeah. They need to have their heart rate monitored all the time. This is past five minutes, not for the first time this tournament or in this regional finals either. Germany, they are the ones looking to aggress now. Catalyst doesn't have too much boost, though. Oh, he went scene. for the ground punch. He's looking to catch it as it bounced back up, but he didn't quite find it. And now it's Tox from the same wall here. But you see the patient defense from France. It's just a blue wall in front of that net. Yeah, they're just not giving them any quarter here, though Alpha now towards the backboard. Try to get a little break in Germany's half of the field, but it just does not come. Just the booming clear, and oh, that was almost a crucial mistake there by Alpha, will allow Catalyst to keep this ball dangerous, but Alpha, he's not scored on these as opponents that he only, he almost scored on his own net. Oh, that's a dangerous touch from Ferry. Tox. His hit is strong, but onto the crossbar, and the rebound is read well by Ferry there. A little scare for the French defense, but they see it out. No problem whatsoever. They're like a sponge. They're so good at just absorbing. But in this case, the pressure, they never feel uh, uncomfortable apart from breakout chances like that. Now, over six minutes here, Germany need to be so careful not to overcommit and be leave themselves open for the counterattack. That is exactly what France want. They thrive off the mistakes, and Kadom, he's going to try and force one out here, but Rizek. Wins to race to that ball. Difficult read for Ferry. He's not going to get it, but Alpha, he's got him covered there. No problem. It's a wrap to the midfield. Catalyst with the shot, but save again from Kadop. Just seems backboards shot. That is the moniker of both these teams. Just slap it onto the backboards and hope it falls in your favour. But both these team's backboard defence, especially France, we know how well Vitality do on the backboard, especially Kadop. And he's been so crucial in this one so far as we Approach the eighth minute of overtime, seven minutes gone, near enough. Still no closer to finding a winner, although capital, uh, Catalyst towards the backboard yet again. But who is there? It always seems to be Kade up, just hanging on his own backboard, waiting for the shot to come in. Oh, how invested the teams are in this game now. It's crazy. Fairy Peak, he's got no more boost to follow that one up. I'm sure chat is starting to guess the length of this overtime. The way it's going and the lack of chances, I could see it going on a whole lot longer here as Fairy, again, out of boost and unable to follow up his clear. He is going to get that mid boost, though. Germany, like I say, only wanted to commit one man at a time. As France, they will link up here, and it's followed up by Fairy once again. But save your medal for Catalyst here. Double commit from France, but it's not going to matter. They win out that 50 strong. and. Once again, Ferry is there to keep up the pressure. Joe, with the length of overtime that, uh, that we've had so far, I'm not I wouldn't be surprised if that's a double savior medal for Catalyst. Probably. As Stack says, this is the longest game of the, of the group stage so far. Seven minutes, 45 seconds of overtime. Still nothing to decide it, although that's a bit of an overcommitment by France, but we know how well they can get back on their back line. And Alpha able to get the save there. Eight minutes, near enough. Six shots for Catalyst, as is actually only a single savior, savior medal for him. Three saves. I would not be surprised if someone has six saves. That might actually be K-Dop's six save. I think I've just agreed a truce to try and ruin my voice here as Germany. They are <laughs> right a dangerous shot. Alpha, oh! the composure to read it down off the crossbar, but he's going to get dunked on the goal line. Eight minutes, 15 seconds, a long-fought victory here for Germany, and it is only game one. Alpha can't get the solid clear away and it falls right into the path of the Germany attack. Germany 1-0 up in this series. Remember, France needs to win two games oh in this series, and that's only what game number one gone. That was 11 shots for Tox. There. Oh, man. Only the one goal to show for it. What six total. saves by Kadop, by the way? 19 shots in total from Germany to just this, the, the eight 
from France, right? That's crazy, the offense from Germany. But France, I feel bad for Alpha there. He did so well to read the crossbar down bounce, but it was just that fine margin. It opened up for the dunk to be slipped in at the near post. And you got to commend his composure. I doubt he had boost here as you see it bounce down, but the touch just gets that little bit too far and tox the hunter's instinct. What a huge way and what a much needed game for Germany. Tox has been so good on these 50-50 challenges. He's been winning the majority of them and he was doing that yesterday as well. I remember the game against the Netherlands. Every time Netherlands tried to shoot on net, it always seemed to be Tox or it, really any of the Germany's players um, just hounding that ball on their own goal line, winning all the challenges out. Uh, and that is what put, has put them in this position. I think they did end up losing that series to the Netherlands, mind you. But this is one scary German team, and they have the opener against France. Can they get another? Oh, I mean, they're looking for it straight away. We know off the, the tone setter that is game one there that Germany are the team certainly looking to aggress first, and France looking to soak up, counter-attack, and hope for mistakes. But massive props to this German side. They are one-third of the way. Of course, they need a win, and they need at least 3-1. 3-0 would also work. 3-0 would be great for them, but 3-2 will not cut it. And that's an incredible pass from Rizek. I think it's surprised Catalyst Ethan. He couldn't even get around the angle, and we will stay at 0-0 early on. Oh, will we? Alpha, he's got the shot! His 36th shot of the tournament, and he finally scores one. That's got to feel good for him, and what an epic banger to send your first one in here in the regional finals. That's incredible. He was saving it all up. We had to wait, but boy, was it worth waiting for here. France with that lead, a huge lead as well. They need two games at least in this series. They need to win the series to top the group, and that is a goal, an emphatic <laughs> statement at the start of game two. Oh, Stax is just messaging me saying I, it's exactly what I was thinking. He wins on prices, right rules, closest without going over. I had him on 37, so okay, I'll, I'll concede that one. Okay, well done, Stax. You win. I mean, now does Alpha just like continue to score non-stop? Does it like activate something in it? Does it <laughs> find a new state of mind? That is the sort of goal that can really make you play on point. The amount of confidence that flip reset, top corner, crossbar, down, finish can... Uh, Give you pretty crazy, of course. I would know. I score them all the time. All the time. Yep. All the time on your stream. For sure. That's why you're still a pro player in the scene. Oh, absolutely. Always. Definitely not just poo goals. <laughs> no, that's Marky Dudas region. Exactly. When you encroach on his gimmick. It's an art. It's an art film. <laughs> art can be learned and taught. It's very big. He's going to oh. double down on the lead here. Germany, they're getting impatient. You see how far they pushed up. This is exactly what France want. And very big punishes. Talk about the art of poo goals. That's uh, not a. Not a, a bad goal, you would say. That's a pretty little picture that Pair of Rear Peak has painted for himself and puts France 2 0 in front. After the goals, no one scoring for 8 minutes and 15 seconds of overtime. The goal's starting to come thick and fast. And for France, they are so glad that it's coming for their side, especially. Try to tie this one up. They cannot afford, well, like, they can afford to go down 2 0. As long as they come back and win the series, remember any win by France at all, and they will find themselves in the playoff bracket. If they lose 3-2, they're still in and Germany will still be out. But if Germany close out 3-1 or 3-0, France are gonna be going home in Wessex. Oh, he had the chance to put that one in. But staring at the goal mouth, he puts it high. Just didn't get over the, over the ball. Absolutely slammed it. Watch him score this one, though. Oh, of course, oh, he, of course he does. Open net. Yeah, sorry, he can't score that. Suddenly, three defenders back. Double touch. Oh, yeah, no problem. Oh, you, it's the standard Rocket League thing. You miss the wide open net, but then you score the, the aerial off the double touch on the backboard. Beautiful stuff by Rizix, 45. And puts Germany back within one. That's so typical. Very that just, <laughs> that's just so typical. I do that all the that's time. Actually, uh, okay, well, let's not go that okay. far. Right. Oh, right, capitalism. Maybe not. That was an awkward save. Always difficult going towards your net from the Well, wall. I was saying, I, I miss the open net all the time. That's what oh, I was trying okay, to say. Yeah, but, I mean, I, I, yes. I, yes. I, can't, I can't disagree with that. Okay. <laughs> Here in the midfield as well, he has not got much too much too much boost, I should say. He's looked for the pass, but the Duncan pre-jump, the falling fairy just there in the way as France, they do still have their lead, but a massive dent put in it there by Rizex, who's up again, high flying. Is he going to get another he's banger? Get oh, he's, oh, oh Alpha. In time, that's his savior medal, no problem, and France, they keep their lead. Just barely intact. Saw Rizex flying in for that one. He was 50-50 where he was going to save it or not, although he came from a far, far uh, way away. Alpha able to read that now, Fairy Peak. 
Maybe he's trying to drain a bit of time off this clock. No boost. He'll lose the challenge to Tox. And Rizix trying to find Tox downfield. Catalyst trying to get himself back on the ball as well. Does get this touch over to the left. But loses the ball out to Alpha. Down he comes. Stocks all oh, able to save that 37th shot from, <laughs> from Alpha. Okay, he doesn't actually. I would have claimed victory if he actually scored on 37 as well. I mean, I just have to see the stat page on Octane DG to see his below 3% shooting accuracy. Oh. A, an unreal stat. That's alien practically, as it was an alien attempt or that demo looking for Dryan just scramble at the French defense on the front post. I think it was Rizex going for that. Tox, he's on with the ball now, but k he challenges him early and now forces Rizex to go up. If this ball's won, it's awkward. Catalyst takes out Alpha, but France, they don't need that goal. They're not chasing that deep downfield. They've still got the lead in the final minute of game two here. Last 55 seconds now for France to hold on to this one goal lead. Tox and the rest of Germany pushing so hard, but Alpha's got a run at net, and he's got a second right into the top right corner, pushes the lead to two. And that's a lovely goal from Alpha, simple, and he's got it open, but you know, the open nets, as Rizek demonstrated, were not always the easiest to convert, and that one had to be one solid conversion such that Catalyst couldn't get back and make the save, and suddenly game two is looking a stretch for Germany, and reminder, they can only afford to lose one game this series. That they can. They want to at least get themselves to match point, and they've got a lot of time to do it. Then hold France down at a zero, though Rizik's causing a lot of confusion for Kadop, but the shot from Tox is just a little bit too wide. Rizik will have to pick this one up, and again causing disruption on the French goal line. Especially on Kadop once again, just try to take him out of the play wherever he can. But nothing doing for Germany, the clear will come from Kadop. And with the last 10 seconds on this clock, it is looking like this one will be a tie series. Yet again, one more game in France's favour, and they will find themselves in the playoff bracket. Germany need to win this next the, the next two games in a row. I mean, we talk about the playoff bracket, but of course, what a series this is to be rounding out the group stage with. 1-1 one, one apiece. You could easily see this one go in the distance here. We could see another lengthy overtime as well. France, I believe they're 2-2 two and two in the four overtimes they've had so far. They've got a little bit to catch up to the Netherlands, though. Do they have have eight? Eight overtimes oh. that the Netherlands have had. It's a, a crazy, ridiculous stat. Um, but, but yeah, that, lot, but I mean, I don't know. I, I, maybe, maybe this is wrong, but I don't know if that overtime was uh, longer than all of the Netherlands overtimes combined. That's probably not true. <laughs> To be fair. No, because one of them was a five-minute one again. Oh, there, there you go. So itself. I, I am wrong again. I mean, if you cut that one out, I agree. They've had a bunch of really, really short ones. I mean, this one's so even, though. No overtime in game two, but there was eight shots apiece. Germany may have lost 3-1, but they had their chances, and they know that. But France initially outshot quite heavily in game one. Maybe they are growing into this series. And once we see that France train start rolling, can Germany really cut the tracks and get in the way? It's going to be difficult, but they have no choice. The important thing is Alpha now has two goals on the board <laughs> as well is is uh, I, uh, I need to refresh to see what the uh, uh, the shot count is now I, I believe it's now 38 possibly 39 I, I'm not too fast anymore now that he's got the goal uh, we're, 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 we're done we're done looking at that to be quite honest he's uh, so he's got two goals from 40 shots 5% shooting not bad the only, oh. way, the only way is up the only way is up the only way that France wants to be heading is towards that playoff bracket. One more game will seal it for them. And uh, if they if they do end up and go and win the series, even if it is in game five, they will be top of the group. If they lose in game five, France, they will still be through, but they will be the second seed and they'll have to face off against Great Britain. What a matchup that would be. Oh, yeah. Very juicy one in the first round of the playoff bracket, which will, of course, be following this very series. We will crown a champion today in France. They're the ones who want to be it. You see Fairy Peak and Kadop linking up nicely in that midfield. But Germany, here's Tox. He pops it high, looks for the bump. Boy, does he get it. He gets sent up so high, he has to recover off the ceiling. He does a good job of it, but no real chance for Germany. Catalyst has to be careful with that touch. It baits in Rizek. Bit of a hospital pass, but he did the job. Patient from Tox takes it underneath Alpha. Great job from him. He's going to get it out from the wall as well towards Rizek's nice touch, but the defense is there, as always, from France. In fact, when isn't it? It's, it always just seems to be there. It just seems like it's they're running the mark. They know how to rotate so quickly and cause a lot of frustration for Germany. Now, Kadop looking to push downfield. Catalyst will get it off the backboard, and 
mentioned the two backboard uh, defenses for both these teams. It's been more prominent on France because Germany have had the lion's share of offense. Germany are not, not without their own backboard defense as well. They're just big boom downfield. Well, was looking for talks, but Alpha picks it up instead past two of them. Can't get it past Catalyst though. Oh, it's difficult, but Kadop, he is up. It's off the backboard. It's Catalyst again. No problem with that backboard clear. Rizax has to hold the line, though. Alpha, he's got a nice air dribble, but Rizax, he was equal to that. We still sit at nil-nil, just over two minutes into this third game. Germany cannot afford to lose it here. They really, really want this first goal. They really need it as well. It's coming up for halftime through this third game. Talks now. Trying to flick over Kadop and... I mentioned Germany, they're so clinical when it comes to 50-50 challenges. France are playing the uh, playing Germany's game. I think they're playing a little bit better as well. Winning these challenges a lot more often than, than they're losing. Those challenges as well, we need to get talks right back into those, into the swing of things when it comes to those 50-50 balls. The fairy peak now, lurking, lying in wait. k -Dop will come from a long, long way back, and the rotation again from France. They just push two guys up, let the third guy recover, and then as soon as the clear comes in, the third man is there for France. It's only looking for redemption as well. You think about the Euros, both France and Germany. I would say a little bit of an underperformance. Maybe I'm being harsh, but only one of them will be happy at the end of this series. That is for sure. One of them will be going home. And again, the closer we get to the end of regulation, the more nerve-wracking it gets. Great nice touch. From Rizek. Oh! Talks in there in time. Germany strike first. Oh, as Rizek just caresses this onto the top of his car off the big pinch from Alpha. And Talks is there just to slam a jam at home. Germany 1-0 up, a minute 49 left, and that is Germany's hope. They just need to hold on to this lead for the next 105 seconds. Rizix now, from his own half, pops it over Alpha. Can he follow up? I don't think he's got a lot of boost, though. And it's Ferry Peak just bumping that ball all around this, in this corner. Catalyst now just slowing things down, playing the main games with Alpha in this corner. Fairy Peak tries to clear, does not get it past Germany. And this Germany squad is now starting to look like France did in their other end, just having this man rotate out and just hold on to this midfield line. And they're doing a great job of it, following that fantastic pass that created the goal, a goal that currently is the difference between these two sides. What a game four we'd be in for if Germany can go 2-1 up. It would be a win and in scenario for both teams if we can have that but France they can do it right here and have still got a minute to play with it's Kadop he's up on the backboard and he's got plenty of boost plenty of time he's going to take his time with it and try and get it past Catalyst but he deflects it away to that side France trying to generate a chance in the midfield but now it's Germany the ones who get to play that patient defense and this patient play for them to go 2-0 up in this series can they hold on for the next 40 seconds Tox will try and push the lead to two but a wayward shot will allow Fairy Peak to clear. Now Alpha, oh, he tried to clear that brilliant play by Catalyst and just dropping like an asteroid out of the sky. Just keeping that ball deep in blue territory. Now Alpha able to pick this one up. 20 seconds to go. The run needs to come from France if they want to get this second on the board and confirm themselves in to the playoff bracket today. Oh. Alpha will get it towards Fury. The shot comes through, but Tox steps in front of it. France is still in the aggression. The oh. shot from Fury Peak! Pass from Keen up. We're tied! Fury Peak rises again. Last time it was 10 seconds. This time six. He beats all the goalkeepers. Top shelf and France, they want it now. Another overtime looming. Group B has had 23 minutes and 35 seconds of overtime so far through nine overtimes. Group A, on the other hand, has had three overtimes for 49 seconds. This group loves an overtime. Let's see if we'll have another one, and we will. Tox has slams it into the floor, and we go again. What another huge equaliser from Fairy, though. He's going to try and get it again now. I was going to say Fairy is peaking. I would be scared to play against him right now. Another late equaliser, Germany. They were able to That's take awesome. that first overtime, though. As long as it was, they'll be feeling confident going into this one. They need this next goal, or else they'll be going home in third. In France, I think they've had a lot of 2-1 games. Some not go their way, especially against the Netherlands. This one's going to end 2-1, but which way is it going to end? It's going to end in favour of France. They make it to the playoffs.
playoffs. Unbelievable fairy again. What is this angle from the corner? Catching out Rizek and breaking the German hearts here. France, they still need to win to get top of the group, but they eliminate Germany. Germany, they fought so hard to be here to, to make themselves a competitor in this group of death, but they will be the ones with a foot in the grave and the hole starting to be filled in for them now. They are out, and as you said, the question now is, will France finish top or will they finish second? I don't know if you can lose as France when Fairy Peak is playing like this. 698 points, that's a very nice performance. Five saves on the board, and even though France were outshot eight to five, it just felt like when it came down to the business end, Fairy turned up in his tuxedo. Ladies and gentlemen, not a problem here. I got this one covered. He did have it covered. It was fit, fit, it's the Fairy and Kate up show right now. I know we've got uh, given a little bit of grief to Alpha, but um, he's been so crucial uh, creating those chances for those two as well. This France team are starting to look very, very scary as we probably expected them to look coming into these EMEA regional finals. And they've got one more game to win to confirm themselves at top of the group. If they go to game five and Germany win, Netherlands will be the top of the group and they'll play against Norway. France will end up going against Great Britain. But if they want to avoid that fit, uh, that date with destiny against Team GB, France need to win this one or win in game five as well. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Germany are playing for the Netherlands. It's quite literally the situation yeah. right now. The Netherlands are praying that Germany can come back and win this in five. And with the performances we've seen, certainly at times from them, I don't see why we can't happen. Can't see that happen, sorry. The German players still motivated, they're still trying, but you guarantee it's gonna be hard knowing that you'll be coming third no matter what. Remember, double elimination bracket that we'll have later on today as well, which will be starting next after this series. Similar to what we saw in the closed qualifiers as well. Two lives with a bracket reset in the grand final. All best of fives today. Even up in, including that grand final. So let's see if France can actually make it, or well, can actually make it to the top of the group and have a, you would say, easier game. But do Norway have been no pushovers. Norway have been no pushovers. But when I compare Norway to Great Britain, I know who I want to play in the first round of that playoff bracket. France, they'll be wanting this and they'll be wanting it now. No reason to give up any extra games to Germany. Want to keep that confidence rolling, keep that performance coming, especially from very peak. But Germany, they can play spoiler. And oh my, that was a crazy shot from Brizek. What a way that would have been. And again, the Netherlands still watching nervously. They are confirmed through to second. But there's a chance, still a chance, they get that top spot. By the way, you said, uh, well, I said that K-Dop and Ferry were the stars of the show right now. K-Dop's 0-2 in terms of shooting. So uh, maybe Alpha's passed them that moniker of <laughs> you can get all the, you can get a bunch of shots, but no goals will come your way. 10 shots actually for Alpha and he's still only got two goals. I mean, that's not too bad. 20% is respectable. Maybe just a very questionable day yesterday. Oh. It's a questionable clear, surely yeah. not. Oh my goodness, how have France got away with that? How have Germany not sunk it in the back of the net? That was a surefire goal if I've ever seen one. And I've seen plenty in my time, although pinch up there by Catalyst and KDOT will be able to handle this in the middle of the field quite handily. And like you said, Germany, they're playing to they, they are now, con I believe they will be confirmed third in the group, but like you said, they are playing to put Netherlands top and force France to play against Great Britain in the opening round of the playoffs. And maybe just for a little bit of pride as well. They've come, they've come so far through this uh, this tournament already. They'd love to go up with the, out with their heads held high and a win over France. Very easy going to make the touch. He is, but it is still dangerous. Germany here, the pass down, but the save from Alpha, the follow-up. Oh! Rizek is going to steal it on the goal line. Germany are the ones who go ahead here, and they keep the Netherlands alive at doing it. <laughs> what is Alpha doing? He just wiggled back and forth, do, do, doing a little dance on the goal line. He did up, end up getting a save, but it's right into the path of the attacking Germany squad. And Germany 1-0 up, looking to push this to game number five. Kedop. Kedop looking to go again. Still no goal for him. Third shot of this game, of this series uh, for, uh, for Kedop, I believe. I need to yes. see his stats again, but. But you know what's inevitable when Germany are winning? 
It's the last 10 seconds equaliser from Ver Never mind. Never mind. Well, it's there. Faye's finally got one on the board. Two, sh two shots in this game. Vic Haydock finally scores. That's a nice pass from Alpha. Candleism with the costly misread. A difficult one of the pace it was coming. Tox, we won't. And scientists have been working on it for many years, and they don't know. They don't really understand why he was going off the inside of his goal there. But he was, and he didn't quite reach the save. It was a nicely placed shot from Kadop, and it's a much needed equaliser, I say, as he completely gets bumped. Well, Tox. His teammate Alpha has to make the save, but that he does. He does indeed. But France, they want to close this one out. They don't want to have this. They don't want to go to another game with Germany. They love to just win this one, send themselves into the playoff bracket. As the number one seed from Group B, as Kadop again goes for that double touch. If you go to game number five and you end up losing it, yes, you're in the playoffs, but where's your momentum gone? You just dropped two games in a row to Germany if that were to happen. What chance have you got against Norway? Or against Team GP, excuse me. That is going to be a crazy matchup in the first round. If it happens. Upper bracket, if it happens, of course. Double elimination bracket. It's going to be crazy to see over the rest of the day. Crazy for teams to go through that lower bracket as well. Norway will certainly be underdogs coming out of that Group A. But right now, Germany, the underdogs here on behalf of the Netherlands, are going to have to keep and win this game four and five to keep them at the top of the group. France, you know they want to finish this. They've already clutched up hugely in that game three that we've already seen, but this is now game four and 30 seconds the remaining in the regulation. It's tense and very tough to call. Very tough indeed. France would love to, like I said, they'd love to conserve their energy for the playoff bracket, but they need to score at least one more against Germany. Ooh. Might even need to score two if that one went in from Tox. 15 seconds now, Catalyst over the top, and he's found the goal. Game five looming. Oh my goodness, you talk about the late goals in regulation again, but this time it's Germany and Ferry being found out. Huge dunk from Catalyst, and Kadoff just stops, switch on spectate mode. He's like, yeah, I, I can't keep that one out. It's 15 seconds here. If France want to end it now here, they need one before the zero seconds ticks over. But Tox, he's the one with possession. Germany, they want this game five. They want this series on behalf of their Dutch friends. And really, you can't blame them. What a performance it would be knowing you take down this team France, who have at times look quite unbeatable. It'll be a lovely little birthday present for Coach Juicy as well. Maybe, maybe we'll see uh, Juicy versus Greg on the pitch a little bit later on. That possible? They agree to it. I'm down to see it. But I'm like, down something for it. tells me that in the playoff stage, that is not what we were going to see. Not... We are going to see a game five where France have to win to top the group. That they do. And France, I think they were the better team throughout that game. To be quite honest, they should have been walking away with that quite handily. But uh, Germany, their defense again stepping up. Four saves there from Alpha, um, but no, uh, no real offense uh, shown from. Uh, uh, from uh, Germany, apart, apart from, well, what am I trying to say? I'm talking nonsense. Germany, where are the Bears? <laughs> I mean, Germany had nine shots to the five. Oh, I'm, I'm trying to make up storylines, folks. I'm point, sorry. Really, I think France I'm, I'm, I'm clutching at straws game. here, honestly. They may not have got all the shots, but France did look the better team, I would have to agree yeah. with you. I mean, the goal that came through for that. Germany was a freak dunk that really came out of nowhere, and credit to them for never giving up. But unfortunately, France have been so good. If not, they've been the best, but letting their guard slip at that crucial moment could end up being so costly. Let's see if it will cost them number one seed in the group. Germany, they are out. They, they will not be competing in the Intel World Open any longer after this game, number five. Oh, just but can they be a little bit of a party pooper here for France and send them to the number two seed to face off against Team GB? Or will France close it out and be the one seed from Group B and have a game against Norway in their first playoff uh, game a little bit later on? It's Kadop. Can't get the shot uh, off there. Oh. Who finds Alpha? Oh. Shoots from close oh. range and a tight angle puts France in front. I mean, we talk about his shot accuracy. It don't get much better than that for the shot, though. Tox on the wall. He has so many angles covered, but he just cannot reach the amount of power that Alpha got on that. And France, they have their lead once again. They've got plenty of time. They still need to defend it, but they can taste the top of the group. We've always seen late goals in this series as well, Tylacto, so do not count Germany out at this early stage. So plenty of time left on this clock, so 
Drama still to be had. Rizix actually gets a bump on Fairy. Kadop's the last man back here, and he can't get the save off for Catalyzer. I mean, it's a massively quick and much needed response there. Rizix getting that bump, pops it inside, and Kadop expecting a really powerful shot, just pre jump that tiny bit. You understand why, but Catalyzer's smart to put that ball behind him, and it means he doesn't end up getting the save, and suddenly we're all tied up again, and game five could be a shootout. Certainly seems that way. I think it's kind of been built into this in game number five. We see a lot of game fives where it's very, very cagey. No one really wants to make too many mistakes. But both these teams know their places right now, so they might as well have a crack at it. As Rezix try to pick this one up in the middle of the field. Catalyst now, 17 boosts, not a lot. He'll try and find a, one of his members in the middle of the field, but just blocked away by France and Kadop. Probably uh, crucial for Germany that he got down without the way, but here comes Alpha Rizix. Good save there, but no big clear will allow Kadok to pick it right back up. Germany trying to break out here, but oh, there's not. Oh. That was in. I thought that was in from Alpha after a shot, the likes of which he got the first. You'd have backed him to put that one in that bottom corner, but it just didn't quite work out for him. Just wide, and hang on a minute. Oh. Coming through, it's still dangerous in the midfield. Rizek, oh. three goalkeepers, even if that was top corner, that was getting saved. But it's got to be on target, that's the thing. There was no th uh, extra man there from, from, for Rizix. He was the last man to shoot. So you've got to put on target and hope and pray at that point. Still tied at one, though. Catalyst from his own back corner. Alpha able to hunt this one down. Such an aggressive style that France have transitioned into after being held back for a good amount of time by Germany. They're now pushing this ball deep into, Germ into the German half. And now Alpha gets the pass from Ferry, blocked away by Tox yet again. And Tox starting to come to life yet again with his 50-50s. Oh, Catalyst had to make that touch. What a huge touch it was, getting it not just away from the goal, but across towards his teammate. Oh, well. Rezix again. He'll be wanting another go at that one, not finding the contact he was looking for in that case. As that's dropped dangerously, Ferry with the shot, but the save comes through from Rizek. And Germany, they might be able to break here. He sent it dangerously, but Alpha, he's back, no problem, sends it long. Just a boom towards the France net, almost in desperation. But oh, 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 there's nothing desperate about that. Alpha holds his nerves under everybody. What kind of circus jester with the juggling is this? He's gone up and underneath now. Tox, he couldn't keep that one Ooh. out. And France have the lead again through an incredible individual effort from that man himself, Alpha 54. Two minutes still to go in this one, and it's a 2-1 lead for France. Off of the bonnet of someone who, the, the, the man who's not scored up oh. until this series. And now talks. oh, is this one right what back in? That? Catalyst had that touch. How on earth that go in, didn't go in, I will never know. I think that was the most incredible double save I might have ever seen out of Fairy Peak. On the pre-jump on the goal line, and then to screw it back across to save the rebound. That is, that was miraculous. I cannot describe it with any other word. What a defensive effort from France. Germany, they are going to be, like, they will not have any idea how that did not end up in the back of the French net. They'll be scratching their heads and they might be even two goals down if Alpha was able to squeeze that one past Rezix. Kate up now. Try to keep the pressure on and just waste this time off the clock for Germany. No late goals wanted this time for France. Catalyst. Now over to Tox, towards net, off the crossbar. Fairy Peak able to flip that one away. Rizix was nowhere near. He was out, out back in his own end, recovering and getting boosted. And now trying to mount this attack from in the midfield. Rizix loses that ball to Alpha, but it's straight over to well, Catalyst. Pass. And the pass to Tox is waywards. Oh, I mean, the pass looked good to me. I'm just not sure if it was good enough for Tox to be able to reach. It's unfortunate, but of course, we've had so many late equalizers here in this series. And now, all the way in game five, Germany need to deliver another one here, but they're stuck on the defense. Tox, he takes it across. He's going to have time, but Caleb looking to pre-jump off the crossbar. Crossbar, that's a very big crossbar. It's the ceiling. <laughs> he ends up getting the bump. But it's it's not the biggest crossbar. It's, it's really an extension of all the crossbars. I mean, just I over to the other side. Why not? Why not? But Tox, he wants to get it right in the middle of the net. He'll hand it over to Catalyst to have a go. 15 seconds now. Will we be tied up? Rizix again, just a little bit too far forward. He's not been playing his best in this uh, game five for me as Rizix, but he's got one last chance to bring this one through. 100 boosts blocked out in the middle by the Vitality offense. Here comes Tox up in oh. the air and right into the floor by Kadop. 
France will confirm themselves as number one seed in Group B. Now,